In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to define self-consumption in grid-connected systems. The self-consumption in PVSYST allows users to assess how much of the solar energy generated by the PV system is consumed locally within the specific building or facility. This analysis helps to understand the proportion of the electricity needs that can be met by solar energy. This type of system is connected to the grid and any excess energy can be fed back to the grid when it is not being consumed by the user. Self-consumption can have multiple advantages, such as reducing electricity costs, increasing energy independence, reducing carbon footprint, preventing power outage, and optimizing electricity consumption through various strategies. For this tutorial, we will use Demo Residential System at Geneva. To begin, open the project and select the VC0 variant. Next, click on self-consumption. In this dialog box, you need to define the user's needs. There are various options to define the load profile. Fixed constant consumption is the most straightforward method to define the user's need. You simply specify a constant power or yearly energy. Monthly values allows you to define monthly averages which the simulation will treat as constants throughout each month. There is no daily modulation. Values are defined using the graphic tool in the monthly values tab. Daily profiles allows users to define hourly values that can be modulated according to four different profiles. Constant over the year, the same profile is used throughout the year. Seasonal modulation, different daily profiles for each season. Monthly normalization, where daily profiles can be defined for each month. Weekly modulation, separate daily profiles for working days and weekends. Values are defined using the graphical tool in the daily profile tab. Probability profiles is designed for grid applications. Within this feature, you have the ability to establish the probability that you will consume a certain level of power. The available power load is divided into 12 classes, where the user can define the bin step and then the probability of your load corresponding to this power interval. The probability profile can be managed as constant over the year, seasonal modulation, or weekly modulation with a defined number of working days. Household consumers is the default definition for standalone systems. It provides a list of common domestic appliances, including unit power and daily usage duration. Load values from a CSV hourly daily file allows you to define a load profile by importing a CSV file. In this option, a new window will open, allowing you to define a load profile by importing a CSV file. PVCs provides templates for various applications, such as agricultural, commercial, and private residential. Description of each template can be found in the help page. For this tutorial, let's select the household template. By selecting this template, you can see the CSV source file to the left and the graphical preview of the load to the right. Also, by clicking on the graph tab, you can visualize the entire graph for a specific time interval. It is possible to rescale the load profile to a different energy consumption at different intervals to adjust the consumption to your profile. By running the simulation, we can see some key information concerning the self-consumption system in the loss diagram. This diagram provides three key pieces of information regarding the self-consumption system the non-consumed energy injected to the grid, the energy consumed by the user, and the energy consumption from the grid representing the energy needed when there is not sufficient production, for instance at night. You also have the possibility to import your own load profile using the same CSV template. The CSV file must follow a certain required format. The date should be in the first column if the date is a sub-hourly data, 
PVCist will automatically convert this into hourly values for the simulation. The time forward must contain the day, the month, the year, as well as hours and minutes. The load should be in the second column, with the unit of the load specified in the second row of the second column. This file must be a CSV file with semicolon separations. In PVCist, you can open the load profile by clicking in Browse. And then you choose your personal CSV file. PVCist analyzes your load profile and it gives you a verification in the message box. If your CSV file do not follow the template, PVCist will not be able to read it and you will get an error message. If your file has missing data, you will get the warning message that your file is incomplete, but you can still run your simulation. If you do not have data for a full year, PVCist will inform you that your file is missing data and a simulation will only be possible for the dates available. To run such a simulation, click on Advanced Simulation and modify the simulation dates. If generic weather data is used for the simulation, it will be shown as year 1990. Here, change only the date that you have available for your load profile and PVCs will simulate this defined time period.